Hello guys, Smith here, and today we're going to look at downloading and installing Minecraft Forge for Minecraft 1.72. Uh, 1.74 is on the way. Uh, there's many videos uh, on YouTube and some well dodgy ones which come with extra files, but you need Minecraft Forge for programs like uh, Mo Creatures, uh, the some of the mini maps, and a number of other mods, including the new Shaders mod, which we're going to show later on. So first thing to search for Minecraft Forge 1.72. Uh, this will get you the right place rather than searching Minecraft 1.74. If you see here, this shows up, which is the files at Minecraft Forge. Be careful where you get the files from, because when you link to some of these uh, other uh, links, it doesn't tell you or tells you the wrong way of installing. So we go to Files Minecraft Forge. So. When you come to this page, you want to use, I've got Windows 7 and 8, so I'm going to do Windows Installer. What happens is the AdFly page comes up, and you do wait for that. Don't press any adverts or anything, and you wait for this screen to finish. Once that it says click here to continue. Now, don't click it twice, because what will happen, an advert will come up, and hopefully it's not a great big noisy advert. No, it isn't. And you work top right, and you then wait uh, to that, and then you skip the ad. Now this will all be very quick because it's only 2.53 megs, so I will save it. In fact, I will save it as and point it to a folder. There you go. And so I'm going to save. Now my security system then comes up to say, do you want to run this program? Well, I'm not going to run it from here. So once you've saved it, you can see it's in my downloads. Uh, the program will just uh, allow me to run it in a minute, but this my security uh, on the system doesn't allow. So there you go. So once you've done that, you come out of it. And uh, you close this tab here. What I want to do is close this current tab. Uh, and then what you look at is, let's have a look at the downloads. Uh, and look at my downloads. And there's the Forge installer there sitting there quite happily. Uh, sitting there, it's two and a half megs. So what I want to do is I'm just going to run it. So that's all you have to do. It is so easy. In fact, what I'll do, yeah, just run it from here. You can run it from desktop. Yeah, the security comes up. Do you wish to run this program? Uh, and then it will come up with this Forge uh, install client. Uh, you've got a server version, but I'm not going to do that. So you just press OK, and it automatically is going to load up into your Minecraft folder. Now, this is what you will get as a problem if it's a brand new version of uh, Minecraft. I, I've downloaded a 1.74 client, so I need to go and run Minecraft to make it 1.72. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so if I open up Minecraft, and when it loads up, you need to create or load a 1.72 profile. So I'm going to do a new profile. I'm going to call it uh, 1.72. Now you need to do this, obviously, if uh, you haven't got 1.72 and never used it and it's a new clean version. So what you do, instead of using the latest version, I'm going to use release 1.72. I'm going to save the profile and I'm going to play it. Uh, yeah, there you go. 1.72. So I'm going to play it. Once you load up 1.72, You will now be able to load. See the old, uh, the old. That's all you have to do. You don't have to play. You just have to load it up. So let's go back and try the uh, forge again. Now what will happen is it might come through a load of security if you've got onboard security. You do that. So here we go. So now we're ready to go. So you just press the button and install forge, and it downloads the compiler. Successfully installed client forge, giving version into launcher, uh, and grab library. So there you go. So it's now in there. So what we do is boot up Minecraft again. And when you click down, you should have a Forge version. Uh, play, Forge. Now at the moment, I haven't installed any mods. So what will happen is when it first comes up, and I'll show you what it does, it will describe, it will show you whether it's installed correctly. It takes a little bit longer. There you go. So you can see the screen. It's got the latest Forge version. Three mods loaded, three mods active. Well, that's the Forge mods. If you go to the mods folder here, it will show your mods. And as we add more mods into this and further videos, you'll see the mods on the left hand side. So there you go. So that's how easy it is now to do a Forge mod loader. Just remember, download it only from the official link. 
uh, watch out for these security settings because it'll probably try and block it because it thinks it's a dodgy file and your virusware but it's fully vi virusware protected when you download it you must if you have a clean install of 1.74 you must open up a 1.72 profile and start it again for those who exist in 1.72 you really do need a clean install so uh, don't uh, don't leave a, a dirty install of 1.72 on there. So create a new one for the thing. So it's best just download 1.74 again and do it. And once you install it, then it's a case of installing the extra mods. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. That was just to tell you how to install Forge for Minecraft. And so I'll be back with some more mod updates and uh, showing how to install those. So thanks for watching. Please sub. And I'd also like to say, please take a look at my other videos. I have now uh, over 300 uh, and uh, oh, well, 350, 360 videos. My main videos are to do with uh, the Zanecraft uh, whitelisted server and also to do with PvP. But as you scroll down my page, you'll see I've got a number of uh, uh, tutorials. I like doing XP farms and also I've got some where I went to Minecraft Expo last year. We're going to go to the new Minecraft Expo this year, which is at Easter. So have a look at that and I've got some other videos with Battlefield and I've got a number of uh, uh, different types of uh, video playlists that you can have a look at and I'm updating them regularly with a new 1.8 coming. So again, thanks for watching. Please sub and it's bye from me.